and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Mill. That's right, we uh, doing this kind of for a donation deck um, that, that we had, but I didn't really write uh, DD for donation deck considering that's just it's just a normal deck that we've played a couple of times. But yeah, this is our our really really uh, hard Esper control. Like we are going full on control, no planeswalkers. Um, so we get to play this planar cleansing in here, but all control all the time. So how do we win? There's a question here in chat. And so yeah, our, our plan is to, to mill out the opponent. Sometimes, sometimes we'll mill out ourselves too, you know, so one of us is going to get milled. So as far as uh, kind of like, you know, we're just basically trying to stabilize and get rid of all their resources and everything like that. Uh, late game, we have we have Bond of Insight that mills us both for four cards. So this, this helps uh, speed up our clock by four. Plus, being able to return two instants and sorceries from our graveyard to our hand is really powerful. This is uh, like one of our most powerful cards because we get to pick and choose exactly what which one of these instants and sorceries do we really need to help stabilize. So Bond of Insight's a, a key card there. As far as also milling, we have the two Enter the God Eternals that helps mill our opponent. So like those those are our cards that mill our opponents there to speed up the clock. Now, that's not much, I know. Now the main win condition of the deck, and what the really what the deck is is all about is Masterminds acquisition. That's what this deck's all about. It's about stabilizing, uh, using Masterminds acquisition to find whatever you need to stabilize first, and then after afterwards you get Masterminds acquisition can get you win cons. You can like acquisition to start finding Bond of Insights, have Bond of Insights re return your Masterminds acquisition, and another spell and so on. Uh, but then in the sideboard, um, so either either we will like. You know, in the late game, whenever we have 12 mana, we'll go grab a Finale of Revelation and be able to cast this for 10 to shuffle our graveyard back into our library so that our opponent mills out before we do. Um, we also have Clear the Mind to make sure we don't mill out as well. If we are going to mill out, though, and if, if it's safe, we can just go for the Jace plan and just have Mastermind's Acquisition go grab Jace, and uh, then we win the game that way. Or if we are milling our opponent out and we want to speed it up, if like this isn't quite fast enough, we want to speed it up, we can go grab Ashiok. And Ashiok uh, will help mill our opponent out even faster there. Uh, if we're playing against Nexus of Fate, we have to use Acquisition to go grab Unmordigo and Unmordigo Nexus of Fate to be able to take those out um, of the game for good. So that's, that's the plan there. Um... But yeah, that's that's what our deck's all about. Uh, we got Dovin's Acuity that we keep on uh, playing to gain two life, draw a card, and then you know cast our instant, pick it back up, gain uh, gain two life, draw a card, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's definitely a slow deck. But for those of you that are control lovers out there, hopefully you like this one here. We're gonna play some matches over in ranked with it. We're probably gonna play like three or four matches because the games do go a really long time. So I'm probably not gonna play five. We'll kind of see how it goes though. But here we go. Let's go ahead and try some Esper Mill in Mythic. Here we go, Hawkeye. So it's all about stabilizing. Yeah, opponent, opponent uh, quitting the game is a is a pretty nice win con for us. All right, I'm not going to lead with Temple of Skrylance. I'm going to lead with Godless Shrine. There's one I don't want to shock, kind of in general. But two, with a deck that that's designed to go really long, which our deck is. And with us, we already have a card that we want to play on turn two and turn three. I think it could be important to have the scry land later on whenever we're kind of running out of gas or if we know, okay, my opponent has, you know, X threat, so I need, I need to find Y answer. And then we can help use the temple then. But just the temple, like, on turn one, just to make our opening hand look a little better is... Uh, lessening the power of the temple. All 
All right, so we, we definitely know we want Kaya's Wrath against the hero deck. Or against the feather deck, sorry. Yeah, I read the, the arena announcements from today. All right, we can either have Mortify available or double opt. So yeah, they want Feather plus God's Willing, most likely. I think... I think I just double opt here and look for Kaya's Wrath, honestly. That's kind of Kaya's Wrath. It means I have to pay two life and then cast Acquisition. And then Kaya's Wrath after. It's just a good card. I'm, I'm keeping the acquisition. It's good to have in the graveyard, too, with Bond of Insight. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not on a boat. Yeah, the, the, the curtains back here do just look like I'm, I'm like, tilting over. <laughs> but now there's the little uh, opening in the curtains there because Hawkeye likes to get up and uh, jump up on the, the windowsill there and look out the window. Hopefully it's just the draw the card. God's willing? Okay, so yeah, they just want to scry. Right, because it just goes back to their hand anyway. Alright, the scry to the top. So we know... It definitely felt like they had God's willing, but now we know for sure, for sure, they have God's willing. Hmm. I kind of wanted to take Revitalize. But see, now this is a good time to have the Temple. Whew, that's a good card. What do we mill over, over here? They gotta just have another God's Willing if they just threw that one away, right? I guess we can find out. No. Wow, that really was just a a hasty God's willing there. Cause like let's say they let's say they did have another God's willing there, 
by casting it that I still have the six mana next turn where I get to Bond of Insight and put the Legion's End back in my hand. So we're still good there. All right, so let's get another... I mean, honestly, like, Cast Down, Legion's End, Noxious Grasp, Cleansing Nova. Those are probably all pretty good. I mean, Dovin's Veto is pretty decent in this matchup, too. That's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I need all that. Well, I guess Elder Spell and Dispart can come on out. Um, I still have other ways to get rid of a Gideon. And then I'm going to take out Mirari Conjecture and Finale of Revelation. Enter the God Eternals. This card's pretty slow, and they have... That card's really slow, especially against um, God's Willing. I'll just take those out. All right. Well, they have, they have Legion War Boss also for Cry of the Carnarium, so yeah, they have. So yeah, they have uh, Adanto Vanguard and Legion War Boss. Two good targets for it, especially Adanto Vanguard. Yeah. Yeah. I just like the Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. I guess it's probably more the the PlayStation controller. Yeah. Man, they still they got nothing. That's a bunch of nothing over there. Ugh. We did not hit another land drop, unfortunately. I know I could have just cast Bond of Insight, but then I'm putting like two spells back into my hand in that scenario. All right, so what they mail over here? Feather, Aurelia, Adanto Vanguard. So I want Contempt and Revitalize. Just want to keep hitting land drops. So they hit four spells there, so they're probably likely to draw land, right? Darn, I want to keep hitting land drops for this finale.
looks like my Bond of Insight's gonna have to give me some exile removal back. I think I can safely take a hit from a 3-3. Three, three. I'm at 29. I don't need to do anything right now. So one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I will not have to discard. Ugh, four lands for me. I'm still four lands away from this finale. Gotten rid of two feathers. I'm a little surprised they want Gird for battle still. That card's great. I'm not going to cast the Revitalize yet since we don't get to gain life. Look at that, we're winning. One, two, three, four. No land drop again. You wouldn't think that we missed a couple of land drops. One man cold. Thanks so much for the sub there, one man cold. I appreciate that. Just go with the watery grave. Don't want to cast the Bond of Insight yet. We got too many cards. I appreciate the support there, Cold. Ooh, yeah, I need to get my hype boats there. Thanks, everybody else, getting your hype boats in the chat for our resub there. Card to have for more Danto Vanguard. I think we're okay though. Doesn't seem like my opponent has more Danto Vanguards. Um. Yeah, I mean it depends on it depends on what the field of the dead deck has, but yeah, we we got a lot of really good stuff for that kind of matchup. Yeah, I I would like our chances quite a bit against Field of the Dead. Hey, what's up, puppy? 
I am having a very good magic day. Absolutely. Absolutely. I already played a land this turn, right? I'm pretty sure I did, but we'll just kind of see. All right, well, I'm taking that. All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need one more land for finale. My opponent's chilling there with 28 cards. We've gone through half their library so far. Yay. So I can do this for 10 now, right? Pretty sure. All right, I like our chances. Not gonna lie. I like our chances here. Hmm. Yeah, we got the egg. Still no Masterminds acquisition. I say good games. I'll say good game back. This is the sound of settling. What's up, Sally? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I'm not going to let them get their, their God's Willings back with the Feather Trigger. That is sub number 13 on the day. All right, Esper Mill with the win. That was our first match with Esper Mill, right? Pretty sure it was. I did not fire first with the GG. My opponent did. They said they said GG, and so then I did. Yeah, we're up to 149 now. Um, the highest ranking I've gotten to I, was somewhere in like the real low 20s or high teens. One of those two. I don't remember. I haven't like spend time like playing like really playing one deck over and over trying to rank up kind of thing. You know, I, I usually do like this kind of thing like where we just play different decks all the time and stuff. So I haven't haven't really focused on ranking up ever. But we'll take 149. Nothing wrong with that. I don't play modern anymore now. <laughs> We're seven zero right now with this. We forgot to update. <laughs> Used to play a lot of modern, not anymore. Now I'm in a full time arena streamer. Ah, they had the scorch bitter. Darn. Darn.
Ferocidon. Crazy Pyro! How you been, Crazy Pyro? Hope everything's going good. That's going to the bottom. So to play to play Dovin's Acuity this turn, I would have to um, I would have to shock for Kaya's Wrath, and so it would just cancel out the two life that I would gain. And I I basically just don't want to shock. I hope my opponent plays Ferocidon here and not Lightning Strike. I hope they play Ferocidon. There you go. Nice poor puppy. Oh, there you go, man. You've been taking trips. Where have you been going? I'm jealous. Uh, yeah. Just making sure it would work. All right, we're down to seven right now, but they have the haste with the lava runner. Oh no, double, double lava runner. Are you kidding me? Wow, what a hand. What a hand. So let's take out Elder Spell. Take out Planar Cleansing. <sighs> oh man, so you're in Portugal for 10 days, France at the end of June, July. Oh really, it's really hot in France. Man, that sounds great. I have never been to Europe at all. That sounds wonderful. I've been most everywhere in the um, the 48 states of the United States. I've been almost every to almost every state. Been kind of everywhere in the U.S., but haven't been outside the U.S. too much. Been a little bit. There you go, Rex. You went 6-0 with Chandra Tribal today to get to rank up for the experience there. Good job. <laughs> yeah, the song ended right when we hit zero life. That was sad. Oh, man, if we just draw lands, you know, we get to Legion's End, and then we can, like, Kaya's Wrath, and then we also have Enter the God Eternal's Contempt for, like, life gain. Like, this hand is awesome if we hit land drops. Do we risk it? We got, what, 26 lands in here? Let's do it. Let's draw some lands. <laughs> this is, you know, I'll keep a one lander, so I say keep. Okay, it's a land. It's better than not land. Leyline of Combustion. Better than not land. Got all burn spells over there.
Wait, do I gain life with Enter the God Eternals against Ferocidon? Or is that answer no? I know I do with Contempt, because it's Exile, then you gain four life. The answer is no. All right, well, we'll contempt this thing then. I need to play another creature. Because I want to enter the God Eternals and then Bond of Insight. I want to I want to have Bond of Insight grab back ETGE. Edge Edge. It's kinda like Edge. Edge. But with a T instead of a D. Alright, good. Alright, I'm milling myself because of Bond of Insight. I want to have more options. You know, maybe we find another Edge. Alright, we'll grab that and Mastermind's Acquisition. And I have Mortify still for a haste creature. I'm not I'm not above just like sitting back and not and just making it so a haste creature doesn't deal damage to me. But we got Mortify, so we can attack. Hmm. Do you think they got four instant point instant point of burn damage if I enter the God Eternal on my creature? I hope not. I guess milling them when they're playing risk factor is not a good idea. Let's mill myself some more. Yeah, there's just a few just a few days left. I completely understand fighting the urge to not craft the mono black deck. But yeah, glad glad you really like it though. If you enjoyed the video with it today. It looks pretty good today. <laughs> Look I got like Okay. I feel like I have like some cat hair like right on my nose from whenever Hawkeye was up earlier sorry so that was good now we have to win on the draw that's going to be the difficult spot to win okay so state bait Okay, so the game only checks for state-based actions like a creature dying from damage only after the spell resolves. Why are these disparks in my deck? Well, that hand's terrible.
Hurts putting that back, but I think I need these other six. Whenever you or a permanent you control. Or a permanent you control. So even if I mortify that thing, I still take two. Blech. There we go. I think I need that fourth land. Stop with these risk factors. They're all about that burn. Risk factor. Really good. This is a tough call, you know, going to five probably means we're dead. Yeah, we're probably dead. Good quality hand. I can't I can't play really anything. I mean we're just dead. Risk factor was awesome. Just millions of burn spells, couple of creatures. It, that was just like the ideal hand. You know, like three lands, two, like the ley line, three lands, two one mana creatures, and then all burn spells. That was just the ideal hand there for our opponent. And then drawing the, the one mana haste creature later. That was just perfect. Uh, Dispark, no, Dispark still isn't good. I mean, we still had Mortify to kill that thing. I, I guess I could have Disparked on turn two. But the opt on turn two to, to find the untapped land helped us be able to go three, three mana, Acuity, four mana, Wrath without shocking. The thing is, I didn't really have anything else in my sideboard that, honestly, I didn't really have anything that was better than Dispark.
All right, two God's Willings, a Gird for Battle, and a Shock. I think we can take care of those. That does mean that I didn't get to play Acuity first to be able to put it back into my hand, unfortunately, but... Oh well. The planar cleansing with acuity can be a little bit of a non bow. If we draw a land, do I just cash in this finale for four? I think I do. I couldn't win without it. We don't need it to be 10. This should help us out, though, like with acuity, getting us acuity value all the time, though, now. Looking for like Masterminds acquisition. Or Bond of Insight. Pro-white, pro-white, pro-white. Darn. Basically doing this to pick a acuity back up. I could have killed the Legionnaire, of course, by just going, you know, land, enter the God Eternals first, and then mortify it. Which, that's still during our main phase. We'd still pick up Acuity. I guess I should have just done that. Um, Alright, if I play this, that replaces itself, and then goes to hands, so then I go to discard. I just discard another land. Let's not play it. Yeah, I, I should have just done the Enter the God Eternals Mortify. I talked myself through it. It's not Acuity is not like Teferi. Like you can you can play stuff instant speed, but as long as it's during your main phase at instant speed. Yeah, but whenever they do, so whenever they cast the God's Willing in response to the Enter the God Eternals, then I have the ability to cast Mortify in response to the God's Willing, and, I, and the Mortify kills their creature. No, Enter the God Eternals is a sorcery. 
It is not an instant. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, we're going to be playing uh, on Thursday. We're going to be doing a 12-hour stream the new with all the new cards and everything. Um, we'll probably be making some decks on you know during stream, likely. But um, on Sunday, as you see here, we're going to be doing our Brewer set review where we will talk about all of the cards on Sunday. And how they could be used in standard. Not the most impactful Mirari conjecture. Looks like we're going to be discarding again. <laughs> I just don't have anything to play. Dang. <laughs> yeah, our deck is hashtag Dirtle, for sure. Hey, welcome back, Dragon. We Dirtlin. We're Dirtlin up to 34 right now. What if our two Masterminds acquisitions are just our bottom two cards? Hey, a bond of insight. Alright, that'll get us more cards. Maybe find acquisition here. There's an acquisition. What do we get over there? One feather, one arcanist. Six cards over here. They're at 37. Think about clear the mind and just shuffling my graveyard back. Let's go with Bolas Citadel. Oh gosh. I'll wait on that. I'm not sure how my opponent's supposed to try to win this. I think they're just wanting to see more of my deck.
32 cards, I have 14. Let's get our mill plan on. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. Hey, Angry Ben. Discarding four cards. And they could have enough burn to kill Jace. I have to be worried about that if I try just milling myself out. I do have to be worried about that. I'm not actually going to try to mill myself out. I don't I don't know if I should or not. I mean, I guess I, I do get to just... I guess I can't just respond. All I have to do is draw four cards. I can wait for them to act. And I can just respond with all these instants to draw extra cards. I guess just eventually they have to try to deal with this Jace and whenever they do. So yeah, like we're pretty safe here. Yeah, clear the mine safer. That just happened.
All right, let's get. Put these end of the God Eternals back. They're down to 18 cards. This will mill them down to 14. It's easier when, when you have no card, no uh, hand size restriction. Protection from white? weird I don't think white was the correct choice because that just meant that the second God's willing didn't resolve I think they're supposed to choose black <laughs> yeah yeah the, yeah the Jace is shuffled back into our library yeah every, everything that was in the graveyard is shuffled back in so yeah even though the the Jace was originally in our um Sideboard, it's it's back in the library now. So we're good to go there. Hey, what's up, boot? How's life? Back home treating ya. Happy to hear. They're down to nine cards. I think they're just trying to give me a timeout as well. I'm at 17 minutes. It's just a 13 minute game one. Okay, there we go. No, we have Dovin's Acuity instead of Disinformation Campaign. Because Acuity gains life. Um, and then, yeah, we'd have to put a bunch of Surveil cards into our deck. It's kind of weird that I'm not playing Thought Erasure. That is kind of weird. All right, so we take out the Disparks, take out the Enter the God Eternals, take out the Mirari Conjecture, bring in an extra Nova, Legion's End, Cast Down, Noxious Grasps, Veto... With bringing in the veto, we need to cut one more card. Elder spell. Hmm. Cut planar cleansing. I'd rather have elder spell than planar cleansing. Elder Spell or Planar Cleansing? Maybe I could just cut the Nova. Nah, I want the Nova. 
gonna keep one elder spell you know like gideon's a little bit of a problem but we got we got you know the two noxious graphs the contempt Talked about before. My my opening hand is is okay for now. So now I know I need something for Vanguard. Um, yeah, revitalize is good. If I would have played the temple last turn, though, we would have scryed the watery grave down to the bottom and drawn the revitalize. So, would have been better to play that last turn for how the cards lined up, lined up, lined up. In case we draw Legion's End. Well, that Elder Spell could be Planar Cleansing, which wouldn't help in this situation either. We need to find Legion's End, Cry of the Carnarium, or Contempt. So admittedly, I don't have a ton for a Danto Vanguard. Admittedly. All right, well, we dig dig four cards further. Of course, we have the, the Masterminds acquisitions that would help us find something like that as well. Okay, we're just kind of hanging on here. Cry the Carnarium is the safest. But if I get Cry, like I'm going down to two here. If I get Cry, I'm likely just dead.
So I'm going with Legion's End, where I can Legion's End plus Bond of Insight. Alright, they got me. It. Because <clears throat> I can Legion's End, Bond of Insight, grab the gain three life card, and, and play the grab revitalize and gain three life. All right, maybe I need these Enter the God Eternals. I mean, they're not too slow. Maybe they're not too slow. So I can make a 4-4 that can block. Um, I don't, I don't have any... I don't have any, like huge opinions on the the new premium $30 pack of 15 cards. I don't I don't have any huge opinion about those. I don't um I don't know. I uh, yeah, I don't really have any opinion on them. I don't know that I I you know, I'm just like a, you know, I'm an arena streamer and I don't I'm not uh too up to date on exactly everything about them and all that kind of stuff, so I don't, I don't really have any, you know, huge opinion about them. All right, no Vanguard. That's good. No Vanguard is good. I'm kind of assuming they're going to God's Willing this. So I wanted to wait till after damage, so we only take two instead of three. I'm casting this now because I'm going to be able to get the acquisition back with Bond of Insight. I think it's either like Kaya's Wrath. Honestly, maybe it's just a land. Could be Acuity. I'm going to get Acuity. All right, this works out pretty well. Prepare for battle. That's a really good land draw for us. Curse the darkness. That worked out very well. We're down to just four cards, three cards. Not even playing another threat.
And here we go. We got our engine online. game looks pretty over. Sure, we'll take a veto. Alright. How do we want to do this? We want to keep hitting land drops. That's for sure. Jace is a pretty good card to hit land drops. I'm up for a challenge. Let's try this. Just drawing an extra card a turn with Jace. All right, I guess we do need to find something for that card. I'm assuming we have something in our graveyard by now. With these Bond of Insights, but we'll see. We can, at the very least, I know we have the Mastermind's Acquisition. Oh, we have Contempt. How about that? Another Acquisition. I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, only six. If I had one extra, I don't know. I, I still maybe could have just gone for um, Enter the God Eternals. Well, Bond of Insight can so you can you can mill over Bond of Insight. They still get exiled whenever you cast them. But you can still mill over other ones. This will come in handy. Um, Another one of those. <clears throat> Good call. Our timer is at ten minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. So there, <laughs> my opponent's just like, please, Kaya's Wrath. Please, Kaya's Wrath. Because obviously they know about the acquisitions that I could just go find one. But I'm going to be like, nah, I want a finale. I just like this egg animation. All right, mill you. It's a matter of give and take. Mill you. We're a mill deck. We gotta do our mill thing. <laughs> I 
I yeah, I don't I can't remember ever losing the timer. So yeah, Rex, you have lost the timer. Darn. Was that supposed to hurt? Okay, what do we got over here? Mill them. Mill them. It's always an answer. They're down to 17 cards. Mill them. <laughs> they have a demystify. My dream was dissipates like smoke. Yeah, this has just qualified as playing with your food. I wanted to mill them instead of me. All right, so they just got 12 cards. We can Bond of Insight, get both Enter the God Eternals back, and mill them out with the two Enter the God Eternals and Bond of Insight. That's 12 cards. Have just enough mana to do that. Really, is cool. Really, gets to stay. Lame. Ah, they chose black this time. Hit Aurelia. Aurelia, too cool. Let's think this. All right. There we go. Two and one. It's our second time playing against Feather. All right. Pretty quick match, pretty quick match. One more. Last one, win or lose, because the Esper Mill matches take a while. Hopefully we get the 3-1 and not the 2-2. Yeah, sub battle stream tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> yeah, we beat the timer. Yep, I'm going to be cracking all the packs on stream. Absolutely, VT Lodge. I got the, the pre-order also, so we'll crack like 150, 175 packs, something like that. Yep, we'll be doing that on Thursday to start our 12-hour stream on Thursday. We get 14 automatically. The thing is, I, I'm getting so like I have so many packs lined up that I'm just gonna get gems like after like two weeks. <laughs> you know, like with the with like all the rewards you get for like the the other um, whatever it's called the the master pass and everything and all your weekly packs. We're just gonna be getting. We're gonna just have the whole set. So like way too early. I'm just gonna get. 
gems for a long time. Yeah, we're going to have to start playing some limited with all them gems. Is this Feather again? Is this just like the same opponent? What if this is the same opponent? So I'm, I was saving these two instants. Yeah, I didn't play these turn one or two, saving them to be able to pick the Dovin's Veto back up. Hmm. What was it? Is this the same person we played the first match though? Maybe it is. I guess I should have guess I should have just Kai's Wrath before. They don't want to shock the feather to put the shock back in their hand. So I, I didn't revitalize first because I was thinking maybe I would find like a two mana removal spell. Even though really like the two mana removal spell I guess I'm looking for is like Legion's End. It's like Legion's End cast down. I didn't play this game very good. Overconfident in how we defeated other feather opponents. Yeah, I like it, whenever they played Feather and passed, I needed just a Kaiser at that turn. I got really punished for not doing that with the Defiant Strikes. And everything there. Six, seven, eight. Yes. 
Okay. Well, learned my lesson, got humbled there. Was humbled. So we'll see if I end up losing now or not. The colors. Uh, I don't know, Rusted Shovel. I I haven't really been looking through the Throne of Eldraine set just you know, really in depth yet, you know, we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about all that on Sunday. So, um, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Like I, I don't, I don't like control immediately with Eldraine. Um, especially with like, I think, I think there looks to be like a lot of good aggro stuff in Eldraine. Um, even like green getting questing beast and stuff. Uh, I think you, like, you know, day, day one control is usually pretty tough, but it looks, especially tough here mana base looks kind of rough for like the three for three color decks like grixis and esper the mana <clears throat> yeah so the mana looks kind of rough there If that was a shock land, I would keep it. All right, we got enough lands for now. We need to find removal. Main question is whether I hold up veto or just opt and put acuity back into my hand. We'll kind of see here. Looks like we're going to opt and put acuity back into our hand. Cast down is removal, but it's not removal for a lot of their cards only removal for like Dreadhorde Arcanist and 10th District Legionnaire and we just exile three Legionnaires. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Fine strike. So we'll be able to hit for two, but we're gaining two here. We'll be able to put the acuity back into our hand. We'll go like mortify. I mean, I guess Mortify Veto, they still they have that protected. That's gross. 
That specific version of Mono Red, yes. Uh, Angry Ben. I don't think that Mono Black in general is not playable with the new set, but that specific version uh, will have to change a lot. All right, don't have the mana for Kaya's Wrath Veto. Don't really need to. Don't really need to hold up. Veto. Gods bless us wow. And righteous cause. I believe in you. How wrong was I when I said I did not need to hold up Veto? <laughs> Could I have been more wrong? <laughs> Could I have possibly been more wrong? Now I have to figure out how to deal with this Gideon. Come on. I thought we had this game for sure earlier. Opponent's been drawn pretty well. And us, we just keep on drawing more lands. Just keep drawing more lands. Now, Mortify on Gideon doesn't do anything. Gideon's indestructible when it when Gideon's a creature. I need two more mana. Let's see, I gained two life. Wait. No, I guess I'm still alive. By I stayed. I go to one. I surrender. The cry is in my graveyard. Oh, come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? So they ripped War Boss to do an extra point of damage and make Mikaya's Wrath. And then that. To do the extra point of damage. Wow. All right, so we went two two, but I think I I think I could have played better both of those games to win. Um, the game one I needed Kaya's Wrath immediately on that feather. Game two I needed to hold up that that Dovin's veto for the for the Gideon. 
you know, I played I played the the tap land. I was thinking that I was going to be using the Dovin's Veto the next turn, but they ripped the Gideon and. Uh. But yeah, I think I, we were about to stabilize there, honestly, because like so like that like let's say they they don't draw that, the next turn we get to, um, opt put a cutie back into our hand, play a cutie again, gain another couple life, um, also able to acquisition grab like legion's end to exile the um the vanguard so we were going to be we were going to be just fine i didn't get to i didn't get to mastermind for cry of the carnarium because cry of the carnarium was already in my graveyard and so it wasn't you know we have the one cry of the carnarium it was in my graveyard so i couldn't so that's why that's why i cast like the kaya's wrath instead of mastermind for cry the, there that last turn um for a couple of people here that's why we go get cry because cry was in the graveyard um but yeah so that was really fun uh definitely feel like we should have been three one that was really unfortunate losing that other one to feather we saw it the other two times we just dismantled feather um yeah we just got uh yeah you know, got beat there, but yeah, that felt like an 80 20 matchup or so. It looked like that. I guess that was one of the 20% that we lost, but yeah, really, uh, really just that, that one turn. I, th I, I still thought that we were going to win that until that, that last top deck. But oh well. Um, so that's Esper Mill there. Um, you know, full on control is what we got going on there. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, as always, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching some Esper Mill, and I'll see you for the next video.